Well, over the years, there have been numerous women who have broken through those stereotypes and succeeded as rock singers. One of the first was Etta James. For 27 years, she has been on the road. And she can tell you as much about hit records, crooked promoters, drugs, and groupies as any male singer. Etta James said, if there is one song that sums up her career and her life, it would have to be, Take It to the Limit. It is also the way she sings. All of her energy and emotions go into that expressive contralto voice, night after night. It doesn't matter if she is performing before 50 people in a small club, or 50,000 people at a rock concert. One more time. Yes. You got to roll with me and ring. All right, baby. Roll with me and ring. me, baby. The beginning was easy. Discovered at 15, her first record in 1954, Roll With Me Henry, sold over a million copies. Although it was banned from the radio until she changed the title to Wallflower. Just because I said roll then it couldn't go on the air. But that made it even more mystique, you know, hey, roll with me, Henry. You know, what, is, what do you mean, roll? Nowadays, you say roll, I mean, that's lightweight, right? <laughs> um, did you consider yourself a sex symbol? I think I did. <laughs> why is the why band are you laughing? Saying that? I don't know why they're laughing, because they don't even know. Maybe they're laughing because I'm, I've, I've been heavy most of the time. But see, I still have considered myself, you know, even heavy kind of hot stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Etta has recorded 27 albums since Roll With Me Henry, had numerous hits, starred in rock and roll shows with Jerry Lee Lewis, the Everly Brothers, Fats Domino, made money, lost it, and along the way she developed a drug habit that had her hooked on heroin for several years. I had pushed to the limits of cashing checks, of uh, insufficient fund checks that I didn't have, uh, you know, getting arrested for that kind of thing. And the judge pointed it out, you know, one day. He says, well, this lady's not a criminal. He said, you know, this lady's sick. She needs help. After detoxing from the drugs, Etta found the help she needed to, in her words, get her head screwed back on straight. She also credits a belief in God with helping her stay clean, despite the disappointments and hardships encountered while trying to rebuild a career. Even though the group occasionally works large auditoriums and opens for big names like the Rolling Stones, there are still a lot of one-night stands in small clubs, and having to set up their own equipment, and hassling with the same kinds of problems she faced 25 years ago. The Seattle trip just blew me, I mean, it just blew me sideways this last time. No advertisement when we got to the town, there was no nothing. And there we were, in this big old place. It was like what I would imagine if you would go, go to purgatory. Musicians, hell. You know what I mean? And I'm wondering, oh my goodness, how am I going to pay these guys and what am I going to say? Where is the promoter? And you got to go run, catch the guy and go to another bar. Well, I'll give you 200 and here he owes you 15. That kind of thing. So, yeah, did it's still. Did anybody show up at that gig? No. Wait! It's not always like that on the road. Good things are happening in Etta's career. Despite not having a hit record since 1968, You're she works all the time, and she considers her past problems simply a learning experience. I don't have any more malice, any more anger, any bitterness, nothing. All I want to do now is use my talents, and I've calmed down, and it's wonderful and beautiful. Now I'm just beginning to ready to want to sing. Take it to the limit one more time. Ha, 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 ha. 